All right, good morning, my American makers. I have a particular uh, project I want to go over with you guys today, and that's this very simple um, blood knot tie, uh, not tie, but a pole uh, for the back of a knife. Um, I personally find that these are really great, help you get a good handle on them to pull them out of your pocket. They also look kind of nice um, being a leather worker. It's nice to have little pops of leather, especially some home crafted goods, um, you know, something you did with your own hands that you can pop on a something you actually use on a daily basis. So this is a special edition uh, Buck Spitfire for their Buck of the Month program. This is the one from the July 2021. It's got a nice red and blue motif going through and great looking knife. I think this helps elevate it just a little bit. So we're going to do the same thing to this uh, black DLC brass handled Kaiser bag leather. All right. And it's a very simple project. All you really need is three things. Well, you do have to have a knife and it is best if the knife has an, some sort of an oblong or oval um, linear hole on it. If it's circular, it may not be uh, big enough to put the leather through. Uh, something to consider. But this one's got an oblong, so we're good to go. All right, now I am just going to do this. Sorry, required materials, where, where are my manners? Uh, required materials. I've just got a little scrap of leather. This is some four to five ounce chrome tanned uh, water buffalo in the crazy horse pattern I got from Weaver. Um, I love this stuff. Done a bunch of projects, as you can see with it. And um, that's what we're going to use today. I'm then just going to use a uh, straight edge. And this, again, picked up from Weaver. Um, this Chinese skiving knife, or sorry, Japanese skiving knife. Uh, the only real concern here, and just note on safety, these things can be very sharp, so if you're not using it, definitely want to put in a sheet. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this and go, yeah, you know, I think that's about wide enough. Looks good on both ends. You don't want it to taper, you just want it to be a nice, smooth, even uh, width all the way down. Okay. Let's get to it. So long as you've got a good sharp knife, you go slow. Something like this four to five ounce is pretty easy to cut through in a single go. Ah, and you can see there's a little bit there where I didn't quite. So we're just gonna come back in. And a ah, little bit of a ragged edge there. Oh, but it looks like the ragged edge is actually on the bigger piece, ah, you know. That's not the best cut in the world, but honestly, for this, it'll be just fine. So again, we're going to put that knife away for a second. Pull this out. I'm going to look at it. Fold in half, just kind of get an idea for where the middle is going to be. This slightly thicker line, I'm just going to put it in the middle. All right, bringing this knife over, kind of get an idea for how wide it is. You want to give yourself a little bit of space. And I'm just going to go, okay, right about here. Do your best to center it up. And the slot that you're going to cut only needs to be as wide as the leather. If it goes a little extra long, again, this is a flat edge so it's actually cutting less all the way through and that's more of a notch on the top. You can use a different style knife if you want to. Um, this is what I've chosen to use. Let me just open that up a little bit. There, let's do it this way. Make sure that enough of it, yeah that's enough that's going all the way through. We will be just fine. Okay, gonna line that basically back up where we had it before. So the idea here is you're going to put a slot on either side and they need to be staggered just enough. So this one started about one box out. It goes the length of about one box. So, and each of these boxes is a half inch. Um, so we're just going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing. All right. 
right. Oh, you can see I kind of went off at an angle here. Um, you know, if you've got other scraps, I, you can definitely go back, redo that cut, uh, you know, do a completely new one, or just, you know, scribe a line or something that maybe be helpful in the future. I'm also trying to do this on camera and trying to make sure that you can see the cuts and all the angles. So it's a little goofy here, I'm not going to lie, but it should be just fine. So now that we've done that, we're just going to slip this guy through here. Make sure I'm centered up where I want to be. And so we're going to have the piece that's the cut that's now the cut here. And another one is, oh, of course now it's moving on me. Ta -da. Okay, so there's this cut here. You know what? We'll find the other one after the fact. The biggest thing is making sure that they're not, that they didn't both end up on the same side. Okay. So we're just going to open that up a little bit. Push the leather through. Pull. Make sure you pull that in as tight as you need it to be. The biggest thing is to make sure that you expose that second cut. Okay, so then the one that was just perforated and had a leather push through it, that piece is now going to push back through the other side. Okay, there we go. And we just pull through. Now we're going to flatten these out a little bit. Let's kind of pull them tight. Yeah, you can definitely see that one side was thicker than the other. For me personally, uh, this is a detail that I'm going to notice and it's going to bother me, but most people won't. Something to consider. Now, I'm going to take this knife one more time here. And this is just the way I like to end these. Kind of figure out about how long you want it. I'm going to say we're going to go to right about here. And I like put these at an angle and I chop through and then I pull one of them aside and chop through again trying to roughly match that angle which I oh I really didn't do that this time okay let's go sharper there we go and uh, just that way you've got kind of this offset bit here uh, my personal styling and there you go. Got some extra scraps. Put this guy away for safety. And that's really all there is to it. Nice, simple, easy way, minimal tools that you can dress up a knife with a pole. And uh, you know, doesn't take much material, doesn't make take many tools, and away you go. I hope you guys found that interesting. Uh, stay tuned for more content, for more little projects. I'm going to try to keep it pretty basic at the beginning, uh, mostly because that's about all I know how to do at this time. But we'll get there together. Uh, anyways, I hope that you enjoy making your own goods, quality, durable goods that will last you a long time, uh, that you'll have, and that you can give to friends and family. And eh, maybe sell for a buck or two. Who knows? Anyways, this is your American Maker signing out. Y'all have a nice day. Bye.